We have one of the fastest declining middle classes in the entire globe. That's right, amongst developed nations, we're only behind Japan, and that's quite controversial, considering that the United States is the top economic superpower of the world. It doesn't help that the living expenses are now costing more than ever before, while credit conditions haven't been this tight in almost 15 years. Today, middle-income Americans suffer from issues that would be unimaginable to the middle classes of the 70s, 80s, or 90s. We can barely afford our homes. Our children have to take on insane levels of debt if they want to go to college. Finding a job that supports middle-class life has become a hurdle. We're more indebted than at any other moment in history, and a job loss or unexpected health expense can push us right down the income ladder. The truth is that it's never been harder to be a part of the middle class in America, and once you get there, the problems do not stop coming. That's why in today's video, we've decided to gather 20 signs that show the U.S. middle class is falling to pieces all around us. But before moving on, we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's check this list. 1. According to Bloomberg, a majority of middle-income families, or about 84%, reported facing difficulties to afford non-discretionary items, including food and gasoline, over the past 12 months. 2. About 76% middle-class families report they will continue to cut back on non-essential purchases to cope with rising living expenses, and about half, or 51%, report having to tap into their emergency funds in the past year and or dipping into their personal or retirement savings. Three, in fact, a new analysis conducted by Primerica showed that 61% of middle-class households noticed a 5 to 10% drop in their buying power since 2020, with at least half of them noting that most of that decline has been felt over the past 12 months. Four, in a study published by researchers Krauss and Sawhill in September 2022, which analyzed changing middle-class trends since the year 2000. The experts found that 46% of middle-income Americans believe the U.S. middle class is being wiped out by increases in the price of housing, childcare, and healthcare, while about 21.5% cite the rising costs of education as a primary contributor to the decline of the middle class, and roughly 30.2% mentioned the rising reliance on having two incomes per household. Others point to the decreasing number of middle-class jobs in the United States and say their wages are barely keeping up with inflation. 5. However, the researchers explained that no factor impacted the shifting ranks of the American middle class more than the Great Recession. Middle-class incomes were largely unchanged from 2000 to 2016. For this reason, the 2000s are often referred to as the last decade. With another recession on the horizon, it's fair to worry about how much the average income and the size of the American middle class will diminish during this downturn. 6. Data released by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics indicate that for middle class Americans, average incomes for families with two working adults jumped 6% from $74,000 in 2010 to about $78,500 in 2016. Today, that figure sits at about $90,000, which seems like a big leap until you account for how much buying power a dollar has today versus a dozen years ago. To have the same effective income as $74,000 in 2010, the average middle-class family would need to make roughly $112,000 in 2023. 7. At the same time, while middle-income Americans have seen their earnings barely budging in the past couple of decades, upper-income Americans have made more than four times what middle-income Americans made and more than 12 times those in lower-income households 
over that span. In 2022, the top 5% of income earners made an average of $343,000, while middle-class workers made an average of $78,433. H. Believe it or not, even among the middle-class, major disparities can be observed. Official estimates suggest that a middle-class household can earn anywhere between $30,000 for a single adult to $101,000 for a household of four. But depending on where you live, that same middle-class income can mean living relatively comfortably or enduring a tight squeeze every month. For example, even though about 49% of California residents consider themselves middle class, Pew Research data shows that for you to be a part of the state's middle class, you have to make between $165,000 and $232,000 a year, but only 15.1% of Californians actually earn that amount. 10. A separate Pew study found that the pandemic-induced recession not only stalled economic growth all over the nation, but pushed about 2.3 million middle-class families into poverty in 2020 alone. Households carrying high levels of debt that have a single income earner are the most vulnerable to facing what advocates call a poverty spiral, and about 16% of them currently fit into that description. If they fall on the wrong side of the middle-class equation in the months ahead, they may not have the necessary means to get back on their feet. 11. Furthermore, the research firm revealed that over the past two years, five million fewer people were in the U.S. middle class, while the number of poor is estimated to have risen by nine million because of the last economic downturn. 12. On a similar note, Primerica also reported that three-quarters of middle-income Americans are saying their earnings are not enough to pay for their cost of living. In many ways, middle-class Americans are now under more financial pressure than they were at the start of the pandemic, Glenn J. Williams, CEO of Primerica, said in an interview with Money Watch. The share of middle-income Americans who say their incomes aren't keeping up with living expenses has jumped 16 percentage points since December 2021, rising to 75% last month, Primerica found. We did this at the start of the pandemic to track middle-income families, and there's even higher level of concern about their finances than there was then, dealing with inflation and the fear of a recession, Williams stressed. 13. To be able to make ends meet, more of them are relying on credit cards, with a 30% increase reported in the fourth quarter of 2022, according to Primerica. The highest share since the survey began, the company said. They are using credit cards to bridge the gap, Williams added. But the longer that goes on, the longer those balances bulk up. That creates a hurdle that can be difficult to overcome in the future. 14. On the other hand, data from the same survey indicates that 72% of middle-class households rate their ability to save for their future as not so good or poor, which means that most of them are struggling to build emergency funds at this critical time. Given that so many companies are beginning to announce layoffs in 2023, having a financial cushion to fall back on will be extremely important to navigate through this volatile and uncertain environment. 15. The typical home for sale in the U.S. is increasingly out of reach for the middle class, Business Insider reports. While housing affordability continues to worsen and wage growth slows down, Redfin's calculations mentioned by the outlet project that in the top 46 housing markets across the country, where home prices spiked by almost 22% over the past year, middle class Americans would only be able to afford to purchase homes in 19 with median home prices at $385,000 and interest rates at 6.46%, the average mortgage payment right now is $3,048 on a 30-year fixed mortgage and $3,976 on a 15-year fixed mortgage, which means that millions of middle-income earners 
would be cast burned by that payment, having to spend over 35% of their pay just on housing. 16. One of the most commonly known tickets to the U.S. middle class is getting a college degree. Graduated workers typically had higher pay, stronger job security, greater home ownership, and more stable households. However, an analysis by the Associated Press in collaboration with the Center for Public Affairs Research suggests that may no longer be true. In 2021, only 45% of college graduates said they feel they belong to the middle or upper class, while 55% described themselves as working or lower class. 17. Federal Reserve researchers concluded that the 140% increase in college tuition costs since 1990 has prevented roughly 14 million Americans from climbing up the income ladder to make it into the U.S. middle class. Young people are facing unprecedented challenges that are preventing them from achieving what we all consider to be the American dream, said Sankia Coleman, senior director at Young Invincibles, an advocacy group for millennials. They need the education, but the cost to get it is astronomical. 18. Overall, the cost of middle-class life is now more than 45% more expensive than in 2000, according to calculations made by economist and author Alyssa Court. Healthcare, childcare, education, and housing take a larger share of middle income now than at the start of the century. Today, middle-class Americans spend almost 65% of their incomes on those basic expenses, Alyssa said. In 1999, that share was just 47%. In some cases, the cost of daily life over the last 20 years has doubled, she stressed, noting that people finding it impossible to stay afloat shouldn't blame themselves. It's the system, she says. It's broken. 19. Right now, one in three middle-class families struggles with financial insecurity, a study by the Urban Institute exposes. One other surprising finding in the data is that almost 32% of middle-income families with two working adults struggled with material hardship in the past 12 months, such as failing to make a mortgage or rent payment. 20. During the fourth quarter of 2022, 81% of middle-income households reported they are bracing for a recession in 2023, with 62% either planning or already taking steps to prepare, according to Yahoo. Their steps include selling assets and second cars, cutting back on vacations, cutting back on big ticket purchases, eating out, and live entertainment. It's hard to admit, but today's middle class is looking a lot like the working and lower classes of past generations. If a middle class American from the 1980s traveled to the future, and saw what 2023's middle-class families looked like, without a doubt, they would be shocked. Back then, the average college student paid $9,438 in tuition to get a degree. Now, students are having to pay almost $30,000 to be able to get their degree. The median home price was $47,200 in 1980. Today, if you want your dream home, you'll have to disperse $385,000. While a new car would cost you $7,000 at that time, we just hit a new record for the price of a new car last month, $49,507. The cost of living has ballooned, but wages have not. And that's contributing to the historic decline of what once was one of the greatest middle classes on the planet. People from other nations used to look up to us and our way of living. But by now, all they can see is that we're struggling to afford even the most basic necessities. The middle class has already shrunk by 11%, falling from 61% of the U.S. population to just 50%. And one of the main contributors to that was the Great Recession, which led many people to lose their jobs, their homes, and their comfortable lifestyles almost overnight. With another recession gaining steam, the future is looking very scary. 
economic uncertainty continues to spread across the nation, and the warnings that say this may be the worst downturn we have ever witnessed are incredibly chilling. No matter what happens, the middle class is in danger and is likely to be disproportionately impacted by the coming crisis. We will continue to watch it disintegrating right in front of us as our economy breaks down on a systemic level. We're headed to a tumultuous year, and the reckoning day starts now. <laughs>